Hello everybody, welcome back. Alright, so here we got uh, a part two of my DIY solar panel build. Um, I wanted to show you guys a couple of tricks that I taught myself here. Um, first, I'll show you one of the uh, rows I completed here. Um, I just set it on the floor so I could get it out of the way. So it's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 cells on it. And it's going to be 5 across, I believe. So when we get done, it should be, what did I figure? Like 130 watts, something like that, give or take. Don't quote me on that one. Um, but anyways, I'm getting ready to start my next row. And I need to cut some uh, tabbing wire. So... What I figured is if I cut uh, a length of it that'll cross two pieces like this, that'll be the perfect length for it. And I need to do cut, I don't know, a couple hundred of these, I guess. So rather than sitting here and measuring these one at a time and cutting them, I got a piece of cardboard here. And I cut the piece of cardboard to the same length as this piece of the tabbing wire. And then I just uh, took the roll here and I'm just gonna go like this around it around this piece of cardboard until the roll is completely gone and then I'll take a pair of scissors and just take uh, and just cut right here and across here at the bottom and that should give me quite a few little perfectly uh, perfect lengths of tabbing wire so here we go we'll do that hope you guys are having a good week everybody's doing alright out there Appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, I'm super stoked about this project, but uh, uh, I'm not looking forward to buying a converter and batteries because that's going to be kind of spendy, but whatever. I asked for this, so I got to freaking make it happen. But I'll take you guys along with me and uh, we'll. Uh, learn together and then uh, I got a buddy that's gonna ask a friend of his tomorrow uh, what kind of epoxy resin I should use to encapsulate these suckers I looked at a bunch of different kinds on Amazon but I'm not uh, I'm not quite certain about them so I'm gonna have one of my friends ask a professional that will actually works with the laboratory and technicians, so that might help. Okay, so I got these guys. I think if I just go like this, bend the cardboard a little bit, I should be able to pull this right out. Should. Keyword, should. But here we go, and it is working. Sort of. There we go. Aha! Alright. So there we are. We've got a bunch of tabbing here. Fold it over. So we'll just get these lined up over my fingers here. Where the creases are. And we'll just take this pair of scissors and run it right through the center here. There we go. i got all the creases on the scissors. And snip. There we go. Alright. And then flip it over and do the same thing on this side now if you're measuring this and you get the one the first piece measured wrong you're gonna screw up all of these pieces so uh, measure twice cut once and there we go alright that ought to do it there's a a few pieces for me right here and I will record myself um, doing just this one set right here and then I'll uh, maybe I can set the camera up and do like a time lapse and you can watch me do the rest but I'm not gonna make you sit here and watch me do this in real time because to be honest I don't want to do this in real time but the only way I'm gonna get it done is if I do it myself right now so I'm gonna get this going so we're gonna start here and when you're putting these together, pretend these are just like batteries, so they're going to go in series, positive, negative, positive, negative. So I'll show you here. 
Hopefully you're not looking at the wall. Okay, it looks like you can see what I'm doing here. So I got my my uh, flux rosin here. And we'll just go ahead and little dab on each one of these guys. And I'll share the technique that I have figured out here. And this is just my technique. It doesn't mean it's the right way to do it or the best way. I'm sure there's some guys out there that uh, can do this a lot better than I am and maybe have a lot better techniques, but this is how I'm going to do it. So just bear with me. If you guys have any questions or comments, post those down at the bottom. If you want to wish me luck on this project, I would appreciate that. Oh, and I'm almost halfway to my goal on my subscribers. Thank you guys. Appreciate that. Getting the word out. Trying to get a thousand subscribers by the 20th. Um, I'm almost positive that's not going to happen, but that's okay. Um, I'm not doing this for money anyway, so. When they take away my ability to generate revenue, whoop de doo I think I made 20 bucks last year. And obviously I'm not starving. So I will continue to make videos if they if they take my monetization away. And uh, eventually I will meet that uh, requirement that they're asking. All right, back to soldering here. All right, I already made a mistake. Oh, well, maybe not. It's a shadow. All right, see, just like that. Pretty simple all the way across. Now we're going to do the next two. And if you notice right here, this edge right here is in just a little bit. You don't want this overlapping, otherwise it'll touch the next one and it could short out. So you want to just keep that in mind. And then uh, having a couple of sockets like this is really handy because you can place this on here and then just put the socket on top of it like that and it will hold that sucker in place while I get started. So if you want to, you can just go across like this. And this, this is silver, it is not lead based. So it has a sweet smell to it. But I would probably recommend doing this in a ventilated area as I'm not a expert and I don't know if silver is toxic when you heat it up, so keep that in mind. You know, always use this, the proper safety precautions. Um, I'm an amateur and I have no idea what I'm doing, so I'm going to do it this way. I certainly need a different soldering iron. I'm not real stoked on this one but it is working so I'm gonna keep using it for now alright and I got a paper towel over here with some water on it so I can clean the tip when you're doing this be careful don't burn yourself I've actually already done that burnt the crud out of my fingers started coming loose there and it's not working so I need a little bit of solder I'll just touch it on there there we go and then just nice and even oh shoot that's okay we'll get my other socket over here and then we'll just place him right there to hold it down for me alright and I move this one and here we go alright there we go got all three rows on there done 
Uh, this side is positive, and this is negative. All right, so what I'm going to do is take this and flip it over. All right. And then I need to flux. Oh, I already did. I already fluxed that side. So we'll just line this up close. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but you're going you're gonna to want it to get pretty darn close here. And then I'll put a socket right there and another one right here. And there aren't any cracks in here, so I can't show you an example right now. Maybe if I find some later, I can show you. But if these crack, they're not ruined. Um, as long as you tape it from the other side, uh, it will be just fine. So let's go ahead and start soldering these puppies on. No, they're not puppies. I don't know why I always say that. All right, here we go. And I don't have all day to do this because um, often I'm quite busy with work. All right, got that row done. I might put a little tiny piece right here because I didn't cut this long enough, which uh, is no big deal. I've got lots of scrap pieces up here. As long as it's touching, it will work. So we'll just take this little piece here and cut it to length, and then I'll just zap it on real quick. It's a little, little bit of soldering. Now, as you can see, I'm not actually using any of this stuff to solder with because this silver tabbing wire has a little bit of uh, solder on it, silver solder on either side, so it gives you just enough to do this. And that's it right there. Perfect. Okay, now we'll move on to this side. So I usually do the outside ones first. That way, um, if it's crooked, I can fix it. If I do the first one and then the second one and then I get to the third one, it could be crooked a little bit and then I'll have a little bit of a problem. See so here, you can see this isn't lined up. So since I'm doing the outside ones first, I can line it up. And just like so. And after I finish this project, the entire thing with all the panels, um, I'm probably not going to do this again. It takes a very, very long time. But understandably, solar panels are expensive right now. So being able to make your own is a pretty big bonus. There's plenty of people on YouTube that uh, do little DIY videos how they do it. A lot of the ones that I saw, they have, uh, uh, one guy had a big table that he used outside and the bottom of it had, was cut open so he could shine a light from underneath and test each panel and then uh, check the voltage from it. And then uh, I believe he had something on it to make it so that it shook. Uh, so when he poured the resin on it, the resin would spread out evenly around all the panels or all the cells. Um, I'm going to have to figure something out for my project because I don't have anything like that, obviously. And uh, weather's starting to warm up here in Arizona. So we're going to definitely have plenty of sunshine to get these things charged up and working. Let me just cut two more little pieces here to continue the end with to fix this. Alright, one more here. I have a little X-Acto knife to help me place it. Put my little weight 
straight on there just like so and we'll do another one right here like so and then just a little little bit of heat and that one's good and that one's good all right there we go and uh, make sure you're very careful with these these are super fragile but there you go voila there's a uh, there's what they look like so as you can see the solder is on this side the positive positive and then on this side the negative and then we just keep doing that in series all the way down until we have a whole panel and then uh, we've got these little diodes I believe that's what they're called and the purpose of these is so that if you are charging a battery uh, the battery can't send the current back into the panels and so it's basically like a little gate a one-way gate I believe um, some of you guys out there electricians you can correct me there and I appreciate that and then uh, yeah we'll go from there so um, I'm going to take a little break and we're going to call this, uh, call that part two. Okay. And then when I get, uh, the, when I have the ability to set the camera up, I'll do a time lapse and then I'll try to see if I can do like a whole row and time lapse that, and then you can watch me do a whole row. All right. So there you have it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, hit that like button. If you have any comments or questions, post those down at the bottom. Um, yes, I shaved the beard, trimmed it up a little bit. I had a long work week and uh, it was getting a little scruffy, so I trimmed it down this morning. But anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Click the little bell icon next to uh, subscribe if you want notifications each time I uh, publish another video. And um, as always, thank you guys and keep building.